lah but we understand uh, due to the you know, policy so actually along the way then uh, our one want to go again because she want to go out she want to explore so the first we went to the Chandu and then we went to our school lah Oh, that was good then, okay, jump to then, what is next? First school also, she never started her food there. The yeah. one that the uh, open ceremony by the late Mr. Little Shisha, she never started her food at the Jubi building itself. So, that was in year 2017. Yeah, her first trip there. And then followed by the Jubi Chanto, she never started her food there too. So, not this year, Now we are here now, actually. So, Ali, yeah, some, uh, some guys are uh, first timer, right? So, she was like, you are blessed and happy. So, yeah. You are like a family, like, yeah, we are like a family. That's it. Yeah, we are like a family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. 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 So how about, about okay, huh? Dr. Emi, tell me about no. your uh, <laughs> collaboration. Actually for our cooperation point, it's actually we, I, I wanted to uh, bring you over to my grassroots organization to bring you around our Japanese uh, GRC. Lah. Yeah, but then uh, after uh, a lot of discussion uh, with uh, uh, Wan Latifa, we decided that okay, lah, we should uh, postpone the idea. Uh, no, we, I wanted you to, to bring you to that place. The Minister of Masagos actually want you to come to our CC. But we didn't get to the end again. Yeah, it's okay one, because this one actually uh, uh, passed the uh, original vetting process. So, uh, my, uh, my, I, I came here to see whether where there is another uh, an opportunity how to collaborate. Like, because I can see that yours uh, is a very strong alumni. Very, very strong, very solid one uh, with uh, differences in, in profiles and all and uh, coming from the various backgrounds but you come together for, uh, just because of one common purpose so that is good. Uh. So uh, uh, moving forward, I look uh, into possible collaboration where really a collaboration. In, in fact, I wanted to, I, when I saw this guy, I think I, I wanted to collaborate with them also. Ah, it's like that. Uh. So this is what is it all about, not only individual schools, Right, but I think uh, many schools should come together uh, and form a very strong collaboration uh, between the alumni. Uh, when we link up like that, uh, right, the various uh, generations of students, right, you can actually appreciate. By the way, I'm the last batch uh, of Tanjung Katong Secondary Technical School. Now it's known Tanjung Katong Secondary School only. The technical gone really in 1994. Yeah. Girls, uh, they remain girls. The tech uh, uh, have been, re been removed. Uh. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now let me introduce representative from three. How? Okay. Yeah, maybe you can share with us a little about. So this is a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Next time, sell me. Sell you how much? Okay, maybe you can share with us why you're so proud about three. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, tree was uh, uh, built with uh, different from different uh, groups. Okay, it was from uh, Foss, the other side of Singapore, and uh, uh, so the North Explorers. Uh, what? That was a support was a big club there. So yeah, and then uh, we combined together to common uh, purpose was to create a. Group that can provide public tours, can also show people uh, strangers all over Singapore where we can uh, show them hidden places, uh, not so common places, or to refresh or even known places. Sometimes you forget the history.
This under nature society. Okay, this 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 forest is still exist now. It's over set thirty percent ready to forest. They're gonna make tengah forest. Okay, ini gambar-gambar yang yang saya ambil. Okay, the only street places like this in Singapore, which which they have by less. Okay, this this book is actually all about this place. Yeah. Ayat itu. This is a few species which we endangered species in Singapore. The the animal partially that's the the reason why we push push the direction to save all these animals. So so one we go through the the whole thing. I just understand. One yeah, yang saya hormati since you've been the our first day. I don't want to lose all the basic fundamentals of history in Singapore. Yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, in fact, I just came on board the Peace Society as the champion for for Peace Society. So our aim is almost the same as every other society in Singapore to liven and to bring forth the heritage of. The Malay society, so that the Malay ethnic groups in Singapore. So primarily, the societies that still are relevant in Singapore are the Javanese, the Minangkabau, the Banjari, the Bauyan, and of course the East Malay society. So in fact, this year is a very important year. We are commemorating the bicentennial event this year. So we hope to bring forth more things, new things, new findings about. The Malay in Singapore, and also to enlighten, especially the younger ones, the youth, what our pioneers have done in the past, and how the Malay DNA right form up what forms up the current future Singaporean DNA. That's what we are trying to do for this pasal tenyo this year. So the first one that's going to happen is at Wisma Gelang Selai Grand Opening. Please do come down, 25, 26, and 27 January. There will be fireworks, there will be shows, cultural shows and everything. So, but importantly, there will be a heritage belt. So, heritage belt will incorporate the five societies in Singapore. We will showcase things like how Gilang Serai is an integral part of the Malay community. It's a heartbeat of the Malay community. So, there's two. The Kampung Jawa, the area, and then the Gilang Serai area. So I can come down, have a have have a listen, have a look look through. There's a heritage gallery, and so heritage belt. We will focus on the community side. So, ah, ini. Ah, okay, okay, yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'm actually from I'm also from Budaya Warisan Nusantara, Sepuana. We are actually organising all this for Basel Tech Demo Office this year. So the community and culture part is actually organising for for the whole office here. So hopefully we can get more things done up along the way. So but the first one will be at Wisma Jalan Serai, then Kamal Warisan, then happening at on the 16th of March, and for caning on the 6th, 8th, and then. Um, it's like the 23rd of uh, June in the Kapuakeni Park. So, um, new things are coming up. And then I'm also part, I'm a researcher in NDS. Uh, so, we are doing some parts uh, to actually show the the, 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 the new uh, history that a lot of people doesn't know. Uh, so, that's something that we want to do. Okay, so, but as, as from Police Men's Society, we are very in this area, this is a Bogis Kosta Kusana, Kosta Kosta. Okay, um, uh, it's very unique, uh, something that you don't you don't see often. Okay, maybe what I can do is maybe get um, Mr. Faisal to do a Osong. Uh, Osong, Osong. Just for you to have a feel uh, of the cultural aspects of the the Bugis, Bugis in Singapore. Osong is a uh, one to walk right. So I would like to welcome. Uh, Big one. 
Iya Bella. Iya Pak Kakak. Ringgo ringgo saya, ringgo ringgo saya. Lobi masalah tapi kue nak iya nak uan nak iya lah lah nanti. Tahu sengat nai. Eh lah kalau lo, emangi monro agak dega mui sengi. Pitu anak darah mau baju nate jo. Eja ri pemasir. Besi keloer ya jangan he. La betta ma sola sola e Sola sola mati temma sola sola mati ku Lebi ni mati temma sola sola e Soro soro ku bela Na iri siyama maluru Na iri siyama pamau ku Sikiri na nyabirita Na riolo ajo rata Tabe Tabe
also be um, by the time uh, everything actually sees, uh, we produce about 200 Malay films, uh, Malay films alone, which falls only under Shaw umbrella, which is under the Shaw uh, Malay film production. So um, I think everybody's familiar with technology. Uh, I'm so glad to welcome you today, somebody who's actually a non Malay, you know. Thank you. 
the okay for Nora Aisha as we know is a uh, the husband is a uh, our first president of Singapore uh, Mr Yusuf Isha uh, during that period Mr Yusuf Isha uh, there is a one uh, member of parliament or or less or, or a minister a first Malay minister called Ahmad Ibrahim okay Okay, as you know, many generation nowadays they only know Jalan Ahmad Ibrahim, Ahmad Ibrahim Secondary School, and Ahmad Ibrahim Primary School, or even uh, Masjid Ahmad Ibrahim. But they do not know personally who is Ahmad Ibrahim. Ahmad Ibrahim uh, was a minister, same batch with uh, former president of Singapore, Mr. Yusri Isa. Uh, so, Puan uh, Nur uh, know the family of uh, Okay, who is Ahmad Ibrahim? Basically, he's my uncle. Okay. Uh, Ahmad Ibrahim is from Penang, came to Singapore to work first as a fireman with the British. Okay, so uh, he is very active in uh, union. Okay, union. In fact, he's a union leader for the fire brigade uh, in uh, Semawang, Nevo Beach. And uh, during, I think, in those 1950, uh, during the general election, the people of I mean, the, the union nominated him as an independent candidate for Sembawang and he was as independent. Okay. So, Lee Kuan Yew approached him to join DAP. So, the next election, 1959, he won okay, as a member of parliament for Sembawang under DAP uh, flag. Uh. So, uh, since under Lee Kuan Yew, he became, became minister, uh, minister for labor and minister for health. Uh, but he, he is short lived uh, due to his health. Okay, I think he, he became a minister at a very young age, at the age of 32. And he died at the age of 35. So, uh, after he died, then the, the government uh, decided to name the road after him as uh, the boss and the school. Uh. So, in fact, uh, I have a few photos uh, which I, I want to share with Puan Nur Aisha. Uh, the old photo. Okay, the, what happened to the family of Ahmad Ibrahim? After Ahmad Ibrahim uh, yeah. died, okay, uh, the family went back to Penang. Went back to Penang. So Penang is their hometown. Yeah, I myself born in Penang, but I'm a Singaporean now. Uh, I live in Singapore. Penang is Penang. Penang is Penang. Penang Orang Kampung. Penang is town. For me, I born in Bayan Lepas. Even Ahmad Ibrahim also around there. So, Ahmad Ibrahim wife is still around and now living in KL. Ahmad Ibrahim. Four boy and one girl. Unfortunately, all die except for one guy. All the boys, I think, something, something. Yeah, singers ah, you know the singers like his father. So, Ahmad Ibrahim, they still have sibling ah, younger brother. Tan Sri, Tan Sri, Doctor Yahya Ibrahim. Oh, where where are they? In KL also. Actually, actually, Mr. Tan Sri would like to see you lah, but maybe you will find the right time lah. Tan Sri, 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 So, uh, Abang Ibrahim got one grand, uh, grandson uh, mm. uh, in KL. Also. From the daughter? No? Uh, from the, the, the son. The daughter not married, eh? The daughter married, but it's a doctor. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's all about my story about Ahmad Ibrahim. If any of you got any questions about Ahmad Ibrahim, please go ask me. I'll try my best. Yes. Uh, 
film industry which was in the high peak in the 60s. Or 50s, 40s, 60s. So just imagine when they move out to Malaysia, uh, Malaysia have their own film and they partly, partly uh, they will be, uh, Malaysia is very symbolic. They are, they are experiences in Singapore.